Hey guys, it's Summer Shadow Zero Zero One. Back at it again with the video games, and back at it again with an old series that I had stopped about two episodes in, and I want to bring it back. I feel like, considering where Destiny Two is right now, the fact we have Shadow Keep coming up in a couple of months, and the fact that Season of Opulence is in full swing, I felt like this would be a the best time to bring back an old series exotic stories I will try to post as many as I can today so I will be recording at least three for the three newest weapons that have been added to Destiny 2 so without further ado we're going to start with this specific episode which is about the Lumina What is a guardian's worst fear? It's not losing. It's not dying without a shred of light left. It's not being alone. A guardian's worst fear is the past. A past that is unknowable. A past that is unchangeable. A past that has severe repercussions. Us guardians have always been focused on the here and now, not the past. Cautionary stories of old haunt guardians to this day. The making of the Red Death by a crazed guardian. The death of Wardcliffe in pursuit of a dangerous weapon. The descent into madness by Bahanan when he entered the Vault of Glass. These stories remind us of the unchangeable past, but none are more well known than the legend of Thorn and its wielder, the corrupted guardian, Dredgen Yor. We all know the story, but what if it didn't happen? What if everything we knew about that fateful duel on Dwindler's Ridge was wrong? We were led to believe that the Thorn, the original Thorn anyway, was destroyed by Shin Malfur. What if I told you it wasn't? Would you believe me? The man with the golden gun, as he likes to be called, revealed to us a bombshell of a secret. The shadows of Yor that he was hunting? He was their leader, Dredgen Vale. Shin Malfur and Dredgen Vale were the same person all along. After Yor's death, Malfur sought to understand what corrupted him, and learn how to not let himself be consumed by that darkness. He founded the Shadows as a way to dive deeper and to quell any darkness, even from a guardian, if need be. He tested this philosophy on us in our pursuit for the last word as well as a recreation of the thorn. Every step of the way we have passed this test, but a new one arises. We are sent to the EDZ on patrol, when near the salt mines we discover a chest. The chest contains two objects, a letter and a system positioning device. This letter is from Shin. He claims that he's entrusted us with the original thorn, the only weapon that can kill a guardian permanently. He tells us it's hidden and that we need to find it. Our ghost remarks that the system positioning device changes signals every hour. I guess we have to be quick. After much searching, we discover a small chest adorned with ornate roses. This has to be it. We unlock the chest and the original Thorn stares back at us. Just holding the weapon makes us sick and afraid. Another letter is left with instructions. Take the original thorn in hand. Burn away the sickness. Purify it with your life. We ensure we do just that. After creating hundreds of orbs of light to absorb into the weapon, the corruption finally burns away, and it reveals the weapon it once was. Rose. It is a beautiful and powerful weapon. What's a symbol for peace everywhere? But in our hands, it is bad much like a flower trampled on the concrete. We decide if Thorn symbolizing, symbolized twisted intention and malice unchecked, then we will make a gun that symbolizes something great, the courage to choose the right path. But first, we must restore it to what it once was, a beacon of hope and light. In order to do that, we must, we must kill lots of enemies. After days of hard work, we faced the hordes, defended the light, 
and banded together in order to restore Rose. And it worked. The project is going well. It's mechanically sound, and it's synergized with our light. But the work isn't done. Not yet. We must assemble a fire team and use our light together to prevail. There are no mentors here, just us. If we learned anything after the Red Legion invaded, it's that standing alone is futile. You need a team in order to push back. Our fire team did all manner of activities. Strikes, crucible, patrols, you name it. But during that time we realized, if Thorn was a weapon of selfishness, selfishness, then this weapon will be one of selflessness. And with that thought, we went into Crucible, killing guardians together, creating orbs of light for allies, and saving each other from invaders and gambit. By this time, we feel ready to finish what we started. The weapon is ready to be complete, and in a way, it's kind of poetic. We decide that we need to reclaim stolen light from the hive, and redirect it into the gun. With any luck, the weapon should bloom from a trampled flower to a healthy, elegant rose. We head to Mars to reclaim our lost light from Zol and his frozen hive. Once we finished him off, the weapon began to transform. In the flash of light, our new gun was brought forth. This gun was pure white. The barrel twisted into a beautiful pattern of delicate rose petals, with golden thorns protruding out of the sides. The grip was twisted vines, and the magazine was shaped like a seed pod. We did it. Now what to call this weapon? We dwell on everything we've accomplished. Everything. We found a way to, pour, to forge a past of darkness and corruption into a future of light and purity. If the past was our worst fear, then this weapon will ensure a bright future. Darkness and light, duality. If Thorn represented darkness, then this weapon represents the light. The name comes to us like a bolt from the blue. Light, we repeat. This weapon shall illuminate the path of the righteous. We shall name it Lumina. Alright guys, so that is the story of Lumina, which is what we created uh, in Destiny 2 from Season of Opulence. I know I kind of flubbed a couple of words there. This took me forever to write. But uh, yeah, so that is the story of Lumina, one of my favorite hand cannons. You can always check out how to get the weapon itself on one of my videos, which is how to get Lumina. And uh, I'll just leave you with this story and like I said at the beginning of the video I'll be coming out with two more next to Lumina I won't reveal what those are in order to kind of keep people guessing uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to know what it is if it has to do with Season of Opulence though anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment and subscribe and apagando las luces <laughs>